how are you all doing today i hope you're having an amazing day yes so i'm still in the same clothes so you're probably gonna see a couple of videos where i'm wearing the same clothes you know what because i have time today i've got time i got dressed and i thought i'm gonna sit down and do these unboxings which i didn't have the time to do in the week anyway we're here now fragrances are here we've got a day off so what better time than to get going so i was like i'm in the mood i might as well just carry on so anyway unboxing yes and actually i've opened these fragrances because I could not wait. <laughs> we couldn't wait. Me and my husband, when they came, we were just like, let's get in, let's get in. <laughs> so it's all open and chances are if you are on my Instagram, you may have seen a poster. Anyway, rumbling. So let's get into this unboxing. <laughs> yes today's video yes excitedly Harej Ledo yes and so these are Russian Adam's creations oh my gosh if you if you saw the previous video I did of my husband's top five fragrances that he's been wearing you must have seen then you saw I did talk about um, I, have, I had this sample set which was generously sent to me by one of my really really good friend and one of uh, the people I follow who has an amazing account with amazing collection you guys check out at irresistible perfumes on Instagram anyway he did send me a sample pack and look all gone all gone all gone so from this sample pack I was like oh my gosh these fragrances are so good so resonant we want these fragrances and guess what went on the website also doubt they had gone we wanted one piece gone we wanted this gone it's like <clears throat> russian adam make more fragrances that we can just buy at will not having to rush but anyway so wanted war and peace that was created but it instantly sold out so there was no chance i was gonna buy it and then i looked up on ebay Oh my gosh, I saw someone was selling a bottle. Nine, was it 900 or 700? I think it was either 750 or 950 pounds. I was like, oh, are you having a laugh? Get off. So that was a pass because no, I could not justify it, especially knowing that the initial price is like a quarter or less of that. Anyway, <sighs> fast forward. War and Peace 2 was released and when I saw it I was like I need to get my hands on that one right we are back we are back that was someone special on the phone yes anyway so as I was saying about War and Peace so here it is so this is War and Peace so it came like that so we just take that sleeve off and obviously this is what we've got so Halej Ledo's War and Peace look at that presentation gorgeous gorgeous isn't it it's nicely patterned you can see that and obviously opens up like so that is what the fuss is all about war and peace too yes and obviously in here it does tell us the notes and obviously these are creation by adam a russian adam and war and peace so this again is extract de parfum and this is a third meal i believe he only makes these in the same in the one size and this i think it came it's on the website it's 200 and twenty dollars yes two hundred and twenty dollars which works out to about a hundred and ninety pounds so hundred and ninety pounds for a third meal and obviously so it does tell us the notes and this is it says twenty this is for this is a new release so twenty twenty anyway the top notes in this as well so you've got the top notes 
in here and wow wow this is five million year old amber raisin so let me just this is what it says about the fragrance on their website so this is we are looking at war and peace too and it says that this is a slightly more resinous and sweeter and less powdery continuation of war and peace the fastest sold out perfume by Harish Ledo, we know that. And this is a dark and malic leathery composition that is built around a mesmerizing core absolute of wild Siberian deer mask, amber grease and castorium, all created by castorium, all created by Russian Adam. And the top notes are the 35 year old uh, 35 million year old amber raisin and then you've got in the heart there's some raw grab 2019 Indian rose and then there's some type uh, rose there's Indian patchouli and oris root absolute in the best you've got a co-absolute of deer mask amber grease castorium obviously as we said and then there's some Indian oak moss there's some Indonesian vetiver absolute and also synthetic civet and amber raisin oil to be honest i'm reading this from their website i'm thinking why does that sound almost as familiar and the notes seem very similar to what because something should have changed so bear with me i'm just gonna look up war and peace so we've got that indian patchouli or is root Okay. Do you know what? It looks to me like the composition remains the same because I'm comparing the note and it does say this is one piece on their website. So, okay. Anyway, we'll work with that. So, as it says, we'll go with that. So, we've got the civet, we've got all that. Anyway, all that out of the way, let's smell it. I did smell it. <laughs> I did smell it before and to be honest, it's quite woody. Yes, it's quite woody. Very leathery. Obviously the patchouli, the amber resin, it's, it's a heady powder. It's very resinous. I won't lie. It's very resinous. And this, this fragrance will be, look at that presentation. It's gorgeous. I love the presentation. Gorgeous bottle. Oh, better not drop that. <laughs> so that's how it comes. Quite beautifully packed. And as I was saying, this fragrance is for the boss man. This is for the confident man. A man who's not confident, not sure of himself, would not pull this off. This is a man of stature like, you know what I mean? <laughs> a man yeah this is very masculine very very masculine so with the original one piece the performance was monstrous and projection and this too richly when we spread one spray almost could fill the room so i'm quite keen to give it a full wear see the projection siage how things work out because this just came today so it wouldn't be fair for me to start telling you all sorts of things that i don't know so i would wear it and come back so expect to see a review of this beauty war and piece moving along the other fragrance that i got we got me and the mister because now it's nice when the mister is sponsoring the fragrances that is into it <laughs> Come down. Second bottle of the Halej Redo Russian Adams creation again. And this one, he chose it. Yes, I let my dear husband choose the fragrance he wanted. So bear with something coming out. That was my chair, by the way. <laughs> I don't know. My stew is suddenly gotten all squeaky, making all sorts of noises. So this is our other patches so this look at it gorgeous isn't it i love the presentation too it just comes in a box anyway so this one 
is Baiko Greece. So Baiko Greece, a rich poetic tribute to Baiko. I believe this is a, a lake or a place in Russia. Don't quote me on that, but I know that the place should be, I think, in Russia, considering it's Russian Adam. <laughs> I'm making the connections, dot, dot, dot. Anyway, the top notes in this one, you've got Russian fair balsam, violet leaf, gray Indian ambergris, and then you've got in the heart, odd miso sandalwood. Ooh, resonant odd miso sandalwood resonoid extracted by Russian Adam. Vanilla, gray Indian ambergris, Again, so the ambergris is both in the, the grey ambergris is both in the top and in the mid. So we should expect a lot of that. And then in the base, we've got tonka bean, fossil hamba, cypress, cedarwood, oak moss and nagamotha. So from this, I'm really expecting to smell some hoodie, hoodsy, hoodsy, hoodsy fragrance. And this is the fragrance. So there we are. Baikal Greece, yes, Baikal Greece. Ooh, I didn't spray these because before when we were spraying them, Richie, it was Mr. Man spraying, doing all the sprays. So, and this again is extract the perfume, and it's also fat meal. So I don't, I don't know if I want to spray. It, to be honest, I should. Where do I have room? I don't have anything on there. No, because I've been spraying fragrances, so I'm really gonna go in down here. Two sprays. <laughs> oh, I can smell it. Ooh, oh, wow. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is dense. That is dense. Do you know what? This, the patchouli, is that the vetiver? That is reminding me of that smell like the initial spray the smell is reminiscent of i'll be honest with you the ankle noir you know the ankle noir i said it's quite masculine so the ankle noir are extreme the extreme version that vetiver is similar similar but it is so potent it is so potent Oh my goodness me, I would be interested to see how this lasts. And I feel like if I'm going to wear these, once I get to wear them on their own, obviously I'll wear them separately for a review, which I should do, then I can come back and tell you all sorts of things about it. I feel like these are fragrances I'll probably be layering, maybe sweeten them a little bit, you know, just, you know, because they're quite intense, quite resonous, quite potent. These are for experienced noses like if you're into if you are more into you like your i don't know david beckham or britney spears fragrances <laughs> this would be too much like you are gonna be like <gasps> your nose will be overwhelmed <laughs> so this is for people who appreciate fragrances the artistry that sort that side of thing they've smelled million fragrances otherwise if you are just into these basic fragrances this would be too much Anyway, that was my initial impressions and unboxing of Alej Redo's Russian Adam Creations, War and Peace and Baikal Greece. So if you have tried these fragrances, please let me know in the comments section your thoughts because I really am interested to know. And thank you so much for watching. I shall see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.